peeps, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you how to create this look. And this also is a first impression with Tarte Cosmetics. Everything on my face is Tarte except the foundation because I don't have a Tarte foundation. Of course, don't forget to subscribe, put in the notification bell and also thumbs up this video if you liked it. So as always, I'm gonna start with the eyes and I already did my brows as you can see and I'm just gonna prime the lids with the Tarte Buff Lid Lock. It looks a lot like the MAC Paint Pot but it feels a little bit different and I'm just gonna pat that over the lid with just my fingertip. And I'm also gonna work it into the inner corner and also on my lower lash line. And I'm just gonna set that with my Tarte Filtered Light Setting Powder. Just a really light dusting all over the lid and I'm using my Micro Mini Beauty Blender. So for my eyes today, I'm gonna use the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3 Eyeshadow Palette and also the Clay Play Face Shaping Palette. The first shade I'm gonna go in with is from the Clay Play Palette and it's the shade Solstice and I'm gonna apply that underneath the brows. So this shade is about my skin tone and usually I would go for something lighter but I couldn't really find it in my Tarte products, so I'm just gonna go with my skin tone. Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Journey, and with that shade, I'm just gonna create some depth into the crease. With a smaller crease brush, I'm taking the shade Ember, and I'm gonna use that shade to deepen up the crease, and I don't wanna blend this color too much to the brow bone. I really wanna focus this in the deepest part of my crease. Now I'm just focusing on the outer part and deepening up the crease even more. With that same brush, I'm taking the shade Timber, and this shade I'm only going to apply to the outer part of my crease. I'm going to give that a good blend with the shade Sand and Solstice mixed. Now going in with Shape Tape Concealer, and I'm cutting the crease. Then I'm gonna go back in with the shade Ember. I'm going to outline that cut I just made. Going back in with Timber, I'm gonna try and blend the concealer and the shade in the outer part of my eye together. I'm gonna go in with the other palette and the shade Jewel on just a shader brush. I'm applying that shade only to the center part of the lid. With the same brush, I'm gonna take the shade Compass and I'm gonna apply this to the inner part of the lid. Same brush again, now with the shade Malibu. And I'm gonna apply this to the outer part where the matte and the shimmer meet. Now I'm gonna go in with the teeny tiny brush and taking the shade Treasure and applying this shade to the inner corner. I'm gonna go in with the shade Ember on my lower lash line. So I have two different mascaras from Tarte. I have the Light Camera Lashes and the Gifted Amazonian Clay Mascara. So I think I'm just going to use um, one on each eye and see which one I like best. So here on the right side I'm using the Amazonian Clay Mascara. Okay, so this mascara gets an A plus for me. It looks super nice. It is really black and it's nice to use on bottom and top lashes. On the other side, we're using the Light Camera Lashes. Okay, so this mascara gets an A for me. Um, it clumps a little bit more because I think this formula is a little bit more wet. Um, but again, my lashes look super good. Way better than they usually do. Here you can see the difference. Now for lashes, I'm super excited because one of my best friends, Faces by Coco, did a collab with Eyelashed, which is a Dutch lash brand. And they came out with the Faces by Coco signature lash. And it looks so good. I can't wait to see them on my eyes. I think this one will definitely be one of my favorites. Okay, so I zoomed you guys back out and now we're gonna go into the skin. Before this video, I did an Instagram video and I used the Tarte Friction Stick and I really, really liked it. It's just a stick, a black stick as you can see. And you can scrub your face with this one. So you apply it to a damp face, you scrub it all around and then you just go in with your fingers. As far as the products I use for my eyes, I absolutely love them. Uh, the palettes were super easy to blend. 
Uh, the only thing I wanted to say is that I'm really used to highly pigmented eyeshadows. They are super pigmented, but not the same kind of pigment that I'm used to. So I noticed that I picked up a little bit more of the product than I usually would. And therefore I had a little bit of fallout. But I think once I get used to it a little bit more, I will pick up less product and then I won't have any fallout at all. Oh, the mascaras, I already told you guys, I really love those. The eyeshadow primer, love it. So everything for the eyes, definitely a go-to. So now for the face, I'm gonna go in first with this, let me see, Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist. It smells amazing. Um, the mist doesn't come super far, so you have to hold it a little bit closer to the face. But so far, pretty good. Um, I think there's a little bit of cucumber in there too. Now for primer, I'm gonna go in with two different products. So I have the Brighter Days Highlighting Moisturizer. And then I also have the Poreless Mattifying Primer. So as I said, this one actually is a moisturizer, but I mean, you can use it as a highlighter. Um, you can use it as a primer, I mean. And the other one actually is a primer, so I'm gonna apply that one to the T-zone. And I'm gonna rub it in real nice, so it really fills up all the pores. So now I'm just taking a little bit of the highlighting moisturizer and I'm applying that to the outer perimeter of the face. Okay, so for foundation, I don't have any tarred foundations. So I'm just gonna go in with two of my all-time favorites. So for the primer and the moisturizer, I really like it. It looks super smooth. And this foundation combo is definitely one of my favorite combos. And it definitely looks better than ever before so so far I really like it I'm just gonna take a minute to really bounce everything into my skin and then I'm gonna move on to concealer okay I said I was going to move on to concealer but um, I just saw I have this TARDIS Pro Glow and in here is a cream contour but it's a little bit dark for my complexion so I'm just gonna apply any tiny little bit to my face and after that I'm gonna go in with concealer so that if it becomes a little bit too dark I can lighten it up again but I really want to try out the cream contour so it definitely looked warmer and darker in the palette but it actually is pretty okay you can tell me that this doesn't blend out like a dream. Okay, so I'm gonna take the risk and do my nose. I'm gonna use the new Britney Bear Morphe 360 Nose Contour Brushes. Okay, so hopefully this will work out. Um, I applied a little bit of the product onto my brush and then wiped it on the back of my hand so that there's not too much on it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in with my Beauty Blender and now with the tip part. Okay, so that actually looks pretty good if you ask me. So now I'm just gonna apply some concealer. And for that, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair. So I'm just gonna stipple that all over the face. And I also like to take it to the sides of my nose. So now I'm just taking my smaller beauty blender and I'm gonna blend everything into my skin. Now I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Filtered Light Setting Powder. I apply that with the small beauty blender underneath the eye and then I'm just using a bigger brush to press it into my skin I want to say that if you do this makeup look for real life you don't need as much powder people often forget that I'm sitting in front of three super bright lights so I need a lot of powder otherwise it will look super super oily super quick if you sit in front of a lot of lights then you need to apply a lot more powder than if you would do in like real life makeup so please don't forget that I'm applying a lot of powder, but you don't need to do that at all. I think a lot of people forget that and if you're recreating this look or any look for that matter, just apply a light dusting of powder and if you're oily, you can of course apply a little bit more. So I do tend to crease a little bit around the nose area, so I'm taking a little bit more on the beauty blender and then make this face <laughs> super ugly, but I'm gonna press it into the sides of my nose. So a little review, first impression about the concealer and the powder. You guys see me using this concealer for the last few months. I definitely love the concealer, though it gets a little bit dry. So if you're dry, definitely underneath the eyes, you can combine it with a more creamy concealer. As for the powder, I just said it, I really like it. So I'm gonna go back to the Pro Glow palette and I'm just gonna use the shade Sculpt to um, intensify my contour a little bit. 
So for my nose, I do need a little bit of a lighter and a cooler shade. So I'm just going to go in with my contour powder in the shade Breakup, which is the cool porcelain one. I also make sure to blend it into my brow. So I'm going to go back in with that nose contour brush. And this time I'm using the, the M0. And I'm just going to blend everything out. If you want to make your nose super snatched, you can apply a little bit more of that powder to the sides of your nose. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to leave that there for a second while I apply my blush and my highlight. For blush, I'm applying my celebrated Amazonian clay blush. So I'm going to mix the shades Strobe and Stunner. Time to sweep away the powder. Now I'm just going to use a pencil brush to highlight my nose. Now for lips, I'm going to use two Tardis lip paints, and these are the shades Low Key and OG. So I'm first going to apply the shade Low Key. Now I'm going to apply the shade OG to the center. And of course, the last thing to do is again set it with Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist. And that is the finished look using all Tarte products. And this was actually my first um, experience, well not first first experience because I already had the blush and the shape tape before all the rest of the product was my first impression overall I'm super happy with the look I think it turned out super pretty so I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below if you guys tried out Tarte and how you like the brand and thank you so much for watching I love you guys and I will see you in the next one bye